consider complex numbers in polar form z equals r cis theta so r is the distance of the number from the origin and theta is the angle the vector from the origin to the number makes with the positive x-axis if we want to multiply two complex numbers z1 equals r1 cis theta1 and z2 equals r2 cis theta2 in polar form this can be done by multiplying their magnitudes r1 times r2 and then adding their arguments so that we get r1 r2 cis theta1 plus theta2 so let's apply this to the example of z1 being 8 cis pi and z2 being 4 cis pi on 3 so z1 z2 will be again the magnitudes of 8 and 4 will be multiplied together so 8 times 4 and then cis of theta 1 which is pi plus theta 2 which is pi on 3 so that will be cis of pi plus pi on 3 then working this out 8 4 is 32 adding these angles together pi plus pi on 3 3 pi on 3 plus pi on 3 so that will become cis of 4 pi on 3 and that gives an answer to this the only thing is sometimes we might want to express this new number z1 z2 with its principal argument and the principal argument is known as arg z and always takes values between negative pi not included up to pi inclusive now this number is greater than pi so how could we rewrite it and because there are two pi radians in a circle if we add or subtract integer multiples of two pi we'll still get the same number just represented differently so here subtracting two pi will then give us an angle in the required range if we want the principal argument that is z1 z2 will be 32 cis 4 pi on 3 minus 2 pi to get it in this form and 2 pi is just 6 pi on 3 so that will become 4 pi on 3 minus 6 pi on 3 giving 32 cis negative 2 pi on 3 so that is an example of how we can multiply complex numbers division of complex numbers represented in polar form is also straightforward if z1 is r1 cis theta1 and z2 is r2 cis theta2 it will be magnitude r1 divided by magnitude r2 cis theta1 minus theta2 so the main thing that's important there obviously is that r1 and theta1 relate to the number on the numerator of your expression while r2 and theta2 relate to the one on the denominator so if we have z1 equals 8 cis pi and z2 equals 4 cis pi on 3 z1 divided by z2 will be 8 cis pi divided by 4 cis pi on 3 and then we will be dividing our magnitude so 8 divided by 4 and cis of pi minus pi on 3 and that will just work out to be 2 cis 2 pi on 3 in this case so that would be an example of division of complex numbers in polar form